everyone. Today we are going to learn how you can add multiple binary numbers as we have seen in our previous lecture that how you can add two binary numbers. That was quite much easier and simpler. But when you came across more than two binary numbers or when you came across the numbers in which bit by bit when you add the bits together and you get a number that is greater than three then the method becomes different. Then how you can do that? Let's see. So here we have an example where we have four binary numbers and we will add them together. Let's see how. So first of all, we have to add them bit by bit in columns. Let's draw a col first column as, so we have to add this first column. That is, we have to move from right to left. This is the rightmost column in which we have to add all the bits of the right column. So let's start how we can do this. So in column 1, we have four, one, four ones. So I'll write here 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equals to 4 in decimal numbers. Uh, here we are doing the addition of binary numbers. So we must have the combination of zeros and ones. So we have to convert this 4 into binary number. This 4 is in decimal. So we have to divide it by 2. As we have two bits in the binary, so we have to divide this decimal number by 2. So 2, 2's are 4, remainder is 0. Then 2, 1's are 2 and remainder is 0. So we have to take it in this way. So we have the combination of 1's and 0's as 1, 0, 0. So I can write here as 1, 0 and 0. This is the binary equivalent of 4. So how we will apply it here in the column wise addition of the multiple binary number we will write the number 100 as it is here. How? Let's write here. 0 will be here and the remaining 0 and 1 will go here. 0 will go here as carry and the another one will go as carry in the next column. So, we were having 100 and here we also have 100. So, similarly, we will move to the next column for the addition as now we add the bits of the column 2 as we are moving from right to the left the column 2 is uh, in the red uh, rectangle so here we have 1 plus 1 and the remaining bits are zeros so 1 plus 1 is 2 so I'll write here as 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 again in binary we don't have 2 in the binary digits so we have to convert this 2 into the binary by dividing it with 2 so it will be 2 1s are 2 and 0 so what we will get is the combination of the zeros and ones bit that is one zero. So one zero is the binary number of two. So we will replace this in the uh, column here as we will write zero here and we'll move the one to the next column like this. So we have now we will move towards the column third and let's see how we can add the bits of the third column so the next column that is the third column is is, is in the green is a green rectangle so we have to add the bits of the green rectangle and the carries as well that we have got from the previous columns so let's add them as the bits are 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 these are the bits that are inside the rectangle and the carry bits are plus 1 is the red bit that is that came from the column 2 and the other is the blue bit 1 that came from the column number 1. So what we will get is equals to 6. Now 6 is basically a decimal number and we have to convert this 6 into binary in the same manner as we do in the column 1 and 2. We have to divide this 6 by 2. 2 3s are 6. Remainder will be 0. 2 1s are 2 and the remainder will be 1. And we have to read it like this. It means the binary equivalent of 6 is 1, 1 and 0. So we have to replace the 6 by 1, 1, 0. So from the 3 bits, 1 bit will stay here and the remaining 2 bits of 1 and 1 will go to the next column. 1 bit will go here and the other bit will go there. So this is how we have done with the addition of the column number 3rd. Now we move towards the column number 4. Four. Now in the column number 4, we have the 4 bits inside the purple rectangle that are 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and another bit that is in green color and the green bit belongs to the column number 3. 
so we have to add that bit as well plus 1 so what it will be equals to if when we add them together will be 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 in decimal in decimal you have 5 but we are dealing with the binary numbers so we have to convert this 5 into binary so 2 2's are 4 remainder is 1 and 2 1 is 2 1's are 2 remainder is 0 so the binary equivalent of 5 will be 1 0 1 you have to put the rightmost bit below the fourth column as we have done in the previous ones i have to put one here and the rest of the two bits that is 0 and 1 will go to the next column how let's see 0 will move towards this column and now we don't have another column after the of the after the last column that is the fifth column so we move towards the sixth column where that is that doesn't exist but we have to put that one into the next column like this so this is how we can we have to uh, arrange the three bits in the next columns now we move towards the last column that is the column number five now we are going to add the bits of the last column that is the column five so the last column is the column five and the column five have the bits as one plus one plus one plus one plus one inside the orange rectangle and the bits outside the uh, orange rectangle are plus one green bit that is from the column number three and a purple bit that is from the column number four that is zero so it doesn't matter we write or uh, zero or not as we will get the same answer so it will be equals to one two three four five equals to five so the binary equivalent of 5 is 101 as we have calculated in the column number 4, 101. So what we will write here is 1. We have to pick the rightmost bit out of the 3 bit combination. So I will write 1 here and 0 and 1 will go to the next column. How? 0 will go here and 1 will go here. Now we just write or we will move these bits down by adding, adding them together. Then what we will get is 0 plus 1 will be 1 and 1 will be as it is 1. So it means this is the column number 6 and this is the column number 7. So the combination of bits that we have got is 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 0. So this is how you can add multiple binary numbers together. Although there is a method that you can add first the two, you can add the first two, number, uh, two binary numbers together and then the result will be added to the third one and the result will be added to the fourth one and you will get the same answer. So I am leaving this as an exercise for you to add these numbers together two by taking the by picking the two binary numbers and then, the, the, then add the result to the third and then to the fourth and you will see the result will be exactly the same. So that's all from today's lecture. Ho hope so it will help you a lot in adding uh, the multiple binary numbers